get it. We here today on this lovely Sunday doing, well, finishing up on our 34 hour reset. In Fort Worth, the great state of Texas, as they call it. Everything is big and better in Texas. Yo, I wanted to come to y'all today for one to just say, what's up? Y'all know I love my patrons of the Noodle House, man. I love y'all. What is going on, man? I just wanna let y'all know who Noodle is. I know we got a lot of new subscribers over the past uh, few weeks and whatnot, since I, especially since I started doing trucking and, and releasing some videos. So I'm gonna tell y'all a little bit about me who don't know. Uh, I just recently, I'm an uh, Air Force veteran. I did just about 13 years as a military police officer. Um, I loved it. Unfortunately, it, it came to a uh, it came to a screeching halt due to some unforeseen circumstances. Uh, you know, it, it, it's some some ups and downs with that. That's with any job, but um, I'm a, I am a disabled veteran. Uh, I got my old service dog here, my lazy training trainee, as we called him a few videos ago. Jax, come say hello. Look, he already just sleeping on the job. Say what's up, Bubba. Say what's up. Say what's up. They're like, man, can I just go back? Can I just go back? Okay. I'm sorry to disturb you that. Now, so 13 years just about in the military as a military police officer. Um, I've been driving TMC. Well, I say I, I, I've been on with TMC. Uh, when I went to orientation, it was like March. I don't know, mid of March. We'll just say March 17th. And uh, I've been in my own truck since April, like the end of April. So I like it, man. It's, it's been pretty fun. Um, fun experience of getting out to see a lot of different places and actually go past places that I've been before, whether visiting or on vacation or something like that. So that's been pretty interesting. Um, you start to learn like all these different interstates and highways and good stuff like that. Like I frequent, I frequently visit up and down uh, 40 from Memphis up to Nashville, up through North Carolina, uh, uh, Nashville, and a few other places. So uh, you, you get to know a lot of these highways. Being in the military, and also I have. I, know people all stretch from that um, east coast to other different continents so I do love about uh, being in the military anywhere I can go if I had to stop and do a 10 hour reset I probably got someone who's like family there that can um, they'll come and grab me and get some food and, and things like that you know, I, I, you know let me actually backtrack let me give a shout out to my my, my brother-in-law uh mike over at at landstar i just met him for the first time man it's funny how the internet connects so many of us and we don't even know it um i met him for the first time yesterday and uh he's like man you look familiar i'm like uh, i'm pretty sure we met before but i i have been i have been known to people saying that i got a familiar face it was like Oh, you be on YouTube. I was like, yeah, sometimes. Uh, yeah, yeah, you drive TMC, you put out the video, told me, and they only said my name and, and everything. I was like, wow, that's crazy. <clears throat> that's crazy, my brother-in-law, you know, never met this guy before. Um, heard a lot of things about him, you know, good things about him, and, you know, we, 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 who, who knows? You never know who's watching your video, so, Everybody who's watched, I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, the channel is slowly, slowly growing. I said that this wasn't going to become a trekking channel. I'm actually setting up right now. I'm about to play some games. Hopefully, we can get a lot of good footage um, before we head out here. It's only like a three-hour drive to get to the Cassidy, but uh, I'm not sure if we're going to do some Call of Duty or some Apex or maybe on the PC play some League of Legends. But that is the plan for now. Um, I also get a lot of questions about why don't I show any of my um, load securement. One, 
I don't mind showing you guys Lowe's gimmick, but I hate, hate is a strong word. I highly dislike editing videos. i rather just make one video without having to cut. Listen, I, I had a gaming channel, okay? So I'm over editing videos because I've had to sift through so many hours of footage to create these awesome clips. You guys can go see uh, past videos that I have made or uh, have been made by somebody else that I recruited. Um, and it, it, it's just kind of annoying. I, I commend people. I imagine creating a trucking video or something like that isn't as tedious because all you have to do is just record little small segments, but then you have to import those small segments or uh, get a program on your iPhone or whatever that you're recording on. I, I am partially lazy and partially I don't want to deal with the tediousness of editing videos. I like it, but it's very, very time consuming. But the customer is always right. So if you guys want to see it, you let me know. I'm going to make it happen. I will make it happen. Right now we got a load of bricks that we picked up in Oklahoma. And I'm not sure if you guys ever been to Oklahoma or, or, or picked up out there before, but I picked up in Union City, Oklahoma. I forget the name of the place, but uh, I was annoyed, I was hot, and I was dirty. Yes, it's the world of flatbed. I chose to be in this, uh, in this line of duty, but if you guys have never thrown straps while the wind is blowing, you're gonna hate life. And I'm not talking about a little small gusts. I'm talking about <sighs> blowing my damn um, edge protectors off. So usually, I set this load up how I did, how I would do a shingle load. When I do my shingle loads, I place all my edge protectors. I get up on my trailer, place all my edge protectors, and I throw my straps, every single last one on every side. And that way, I can just go ahead and place them in there, tighten them down, and get going. I started to do that. When I tell you every edge protector fell off my load sometime throughout me throwing the straps, I just got pissed off, and I was like, you know what? I just go ahead and throw the straps first. Threw the straps. I'll start at the back of the uh, load. At the back of the load, the furthest, I think three straps kept falling over the edge of the load. So I had to keep getting up, putting them back on the load. And I just got to the point where I was like, you know what? I'll go ahead and tighten these down first. Tighten those down. So long story short, I had to tighten every strap. Throw a strap, tighten a strap. Throw a strap, tighten a strap. That is very, very time consuming because us over here at TMC, we alternate our strap. So imagine throwing a strap here, going to the other side, tighten it down, throwing a strap, going back over to the other side, tighten it down. Yo, our trailer itself is uh, 48 feet. So you can only imagine either walking to your catwalk or walking to the edge of the trailer just to walk back. Yo, oh my God. Talk about a noise. But it's a part of the job, so it is what it is. I got it done. Then I had to throw the tarp. I had to throw the steel tarp. I'm not sure if brick usually gets um, tarped or not, but uh, for over, us over here at TFC, depending on what your load is, I think it, it's something that can be easily seen and maybe something that somebody would want. You're gonna tarp that load. Just letting you know. I don't mind because it's extra money. Um, so it, it is what it is. I'll, I'll talk to that guy below. I threw that first tarp and the wind was just blowing, blowing, blowing. So I had to budget it down on one side that the wind was mainly coming from. It, it was just, I, I hate places, especially summertime. I hate places that doesn't have an overhang 
because that sun will bake the crap out of you. I hate places that don't have overhang that uh, protect uh, that doesn't protect you from the elements, but you know it is what it is. It comes with the job. I got it done, man, and I got out here to Fort Worth and uh, was able to spend some time with uh, my wife's side of the family. It was her aunt's 60th birthday, so happy birthday, aunt! I hope you enjoy it. And um, yeah, man. If you guys want to see the security videos, I will take the time and actually record and edit it for you guys. Let me know. It's not hard. It's just, like I said, it's tedious. And you know, when I'm doing a 10 hour break, what else do I have to do besides play the game and mess with my dog and things like that. So yeah, let me know. I definitely love you guys. I appreciate all the new subscribers that we have to the channel. Um, if you guys want, my uh, PSN, Xbox Gamer Tag, Steam, let me know. I'm always willing to play some new games and uh, things like that. So peace.